just taking a quick look at this anchor 548 this is interesting this is kind of like a mix a hybrid a cross between a power station and a power bank now as you can imagine you know you're gonna have to compromise a little bit you know it's not gonna have the greatest power station specs it's not gonna have the greatest power bank specs right it's just in the middle so we do get a 192 watt hour battery that's a lot bigger than most power banks right but yet still you know as you can see power on the go it's still very portable so this is this is the appeal especially if you want to do solar power so let's just kind of go over the ports here real quick so you know the big thing is yes it's an xt60 input on there but they mentioned you know it's only up to 24 volts and this is interesting too especially coming from anchor because a lot of their solar panels are higher voltage solar panels right so if you actually look at some of the reviews here a lot of people are complaining you know that this anchor product doesn't work with the anchor solar panels because the voltage is too high so i thought this would be the perfect opportunity for anchor to make like a little book sized solar panel those are becoming you know real popular and to my surprise they actually do have one <laughs> they have one but the problem is there's no you know typical output on it for solar it's just it's just usb so you know the pd uh power delivery protocol you know it's a little bit fussy it kind of likes to settle on you know a certain voltage and a certain number of amps right it doesn't like to vary it so you know a, a panel like this will probably work you know if you have perfect sunshine perfect conditions but otherwise you know it, it's probably just not going to work well you really need a proper charge controller a solar charge controller like this product has with this xt60 input here in order to you know really get reliable power from the solar panel just you know it can infinitely adjust to whatever the solar panel is outputting right so you know you could try that small anchor panel and trying to charge it with the USB-C but like I said unless you have perfect conditions it's probably just not going to work but still there's like a ton of you know other brands that make these small portable solar panels especially these ones that really fold up small but the thing is that you want to look for is a couple of things here so 18 volts right there that's what you need right this thing only accepts up to 24 volts so you want something around 18 volts and then the other thing is this dc output right here there's a little barrel jack that will just give you you know straight up whatever the solar panel is outputting in this case 18 volts that's the one you want to hook up to that xt60 input right you know you don't want to be trying to use these usb power delivery ports that's what i was just talking about and i couldn't find the actual specs for the maximum solar input on this thing but they do just kind of say in general that you can charge this thing up to 60 watts so that's probably what it is and there's also you know in and out USB C port as well that's 60 watts so this is the downside of this product if you're comparing it to other just power banks that can't do proper solar charging is we only get 60 watt USB-C, right? So, you know, there's a 60 watt USB-C and then the other one's only 27 watts. So, you know, if you're looking for 100 watt USB-Cs, you got to look at their other power banks, right? But those are going to have a much smaller battery, no solar charging, and, you know, they usually don't accept pass-through charging. You know, you can't charge and discharge them at the same time because it's such a small battery. <laughs> you know, you would just kill the battery so fast. So that's the other advantage of this. You know, you can have some solar going into it and have, you know, USB stuff being charged as well, output. All right, now what's also interesting about this product is we do get this very nice color LCD display. So this is interesting. I mean, this display is almost better than a lot of the displays they put on their power stations. And we do get all the information you would want as well, you know, in addition to the, the color. So we do get, you know, the time remaining right there on the screen. We do get a section for input and a section for output. So, you know, all the information that kind of the, the bigger power stations have, this has it. And it also has this light sensor built in. Now, why is that? Because it has this really cool light on the top of the unit. Now, of course, we're going to talk about that here in a second. So don't worry. But the feature that they're explaining here is that this light will actually automatically come on if the power goes out. Right. So but there's a couple of caveats here. Basically, you have to have the unit plugged into the wall charging via, via USB-C. And, you know, as, as they mentioned here, they don't give you the wall charger. So, you know, you, you probably have one, but still, you got to have it hooked up to the power. And it has to sense that not only the power goes out, but then it had that light sensor on it as well to kind of confirm, 
okay, it's dark too, right? So turn the light on. And you can adjust the screen timeout, right? So that the automatic shut off of the screen, depending on how long you want to have it on or if you just want to keep it on. That's personally my favorite. I like to be able to just keep it on. Yes, it's going to use a little bit of power, but it's just nice, you know, if you're using the thing, I always just glance at it, see what the power is at. So yes, you can actually adjust it. Now it doesn't say the exact adjustments available, but still, that's nice. That's nice considering that there's no app with this unit, right? I mean, it's, it's a nice setting to have that. And this unit does have this really cool light, you know, as I mentioned, that pops up out of the top of the unit or you can retract it back down. Now, what's really cool about this is, as you can see, they give you two brightness settings, the two watt and the three watt, but you can combine that with the three different positions available here too, as you see. So, you know, you basically, there's like six settings, right? Now, just to talk about the design here real quick. So it's obviously a very compact unit that's designed to stand up really, right? So tall and narrow. Now, the one thing to know about this, because it is small, the only handle on it, as you can see here, is like the strap. So hopefully that's a very durable strap, right? Because otherwise, if that breaks, it's just going to be kind of awkward. It's going to be hard to pick this thing up, right, without any kind of handle on it. And then another thing to note about this that um, is kind of just weird is if you look at a lot of these pictures here, a lot of them, they just kind of show this thing in like kind of a dimly lit dark room, right? So um, one thing to note about this is that the, the color of this unit is actually like a green. It's like a army green. So, um, you know, just, just something, you know, hopefully you like green, you know, hopefully you like green if you buy this product. So that's it. I mean, that's the, that's the overview of this 548. It's kind of a cool little product, you know, especially if you want to take it hiking or something like that. that can, I can see the appeal there and be able to charge up your stuff, right? And hopefully you just kind of found this overview helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.